Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I thought I would play around with a Halloween special and we have three options here. We're going to be using um, a, a bunch of emojis to be able to tell us, to answer our questions. So there's a bag of emojis here and they're various emojis and some of them have more than one. Some of them just have one of each and then there are others that have more than one. It's by far not a comprehensive range of the emojis but it's just a playful reading and it's just something to uh yeah to help answer questions so, and so i wanted to do a reading today where we we focus on love and we ask questions using the emojis so we're going to use the same emojis for all of the readings and we have three options here so it's option one option two and option three so if you want to take a closer look at that it's like that just turn around for you. It's the same on the other side. And then there's this one. Here. And then there's this one. So go ahead if you'd like to participate in this and make a choice, uh, either option one, two or three. And when you are ready, you may go directly to the timestamp. So it might be in the description box. Or it might actually be in the comment section. We begin with option number one. So if you've chosen this option here, the question we're asking today is with regard to love. And the first question we are going to ask is, what is the status of our love? What is the status of our love? And I'm just going to feel around here and see what's going to come out of this. So what is the status of our love for the option number one? All right. And we have this emoji here. Okay, I'm just going to place that down there. Uh, you can't really see that so well, but it's the laughing with tears I'm going to choose something else here right and we have this and then there's this one that's decided to come out Okay, so basically, um, because they're not a comprehensive set of emojis, they definitely don't have all the um, the the various range of emotions or expressions that one can find. But we have come to these three. So, in terms of the status of the relationship, like some of it might be laughable, and some of it might be it might be something that. You know, you can't just help but laugh about it at times. Or it could be that you are um, you are kind of desperate with the situation and that you are laughing or it brings you to, to tears um, at, at times. OK, um, I'm not going to go along directly with the meanings of these emoji of these um, emojis or as they, their meaning as intended by the creator. I'm just going to um, talk about this as an energy that I'm trying to pick up from those of you who've chosen this here. I'm going to use these as guidelines. The other thing here is I feel that in this situation, there's a tendency to turn a blind eye or to not actually uh, participate or to like step away or walk away from, from the situation. So it's like, it's like turning a blind eye or not, not really paying attention to what's going on. Um, it might be that, um, yeah, there's an in unwillingness to see what's really going on with the situation. I'm just going to adjust my camera so that you have a better uh, look of the emojis. So perhaps that's a better shot here and you can see more clearly. Uh, so yes, what I was saying is that there's a tendency to avoid uh, really looking at the situation or perhaps it's there's an inability to see what's actually going on here or what what is the truth rather of what is going on. Uh, and that has much to do with your own personality and what you are able to see and what you are not able to see. So your own, what, what you may be seeing is that it's all good or it's all bad, but it's actually not necessarily exactly as you see it. 
there is a, a different, there's a truth here that's beyond what your perception is. And there is also a perception of the other person that is contrary to your own. Okay, and that is not necessarily the truth either. So there's different percept uh, perceptions of the matter and it can be something to laugh about. It can be something that one could think is so ridiculous or can be, it can be, yeah, just pretty ridiculous. All right. Um, the uh, the poop emoji here is, um, the way in which I want to read this is that you might think that you, it's actually like all, you know, crazy or not good enough uh, or, or horrible, but it's actually not like that. It's it's just a, it's just your perception. Okay, once again. So that was the status of the relationship. And I want to ask, how does this person actually feel about you? So I've put those emojis back in here and I'm going to go ahead and just close my eyes again and just feel through. I'm going to ask, how does your person or your partner or the person that you're asking about in this reading actually feel about you? So let's see what we have. Oh, they think you're great. I'm just going to try and choose another one, see what's going on here. Um, let me just bring that back into frame. There we are. So, how does your person actually feel about you? Right, there's another one here. Wow, this person thinks that you're great. Uh, and there's this one. All right, so this person thinks that you're great. They think that you're cool. They think that you actually uh, are really, like, top, you know, they think that you're fantastic, like you're really a nice person or you're great and, uh, and that they find you cool and... They just think that you, 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 you're great. You're fabulous. You're simply great. Okay, and they aren't willing to see anything else. They're not willing to see your flaws or willing to see anything else about you. And um, yeah, they just basically are think that you're a wonderful. All right. So let's ask here. Um, what will be the immediate? Um, what will happen? In the relationship immediately like what will be the immediate outcome of this relationship okay I think that's it okay so this is the the the, the message here and of this emoji just giving me a message I want to see if there's anything else that's willing to come out All right, um, I feel like I've seen that and pulled it out, but I'm not sure. I felt like, I mean, I touched it first and then I opened my eyes. But I just want to call something else out here. All right, it's this one. Great. Okay, so here's, here's the immediate outcome. There's this sense of being surprised or taken aback by something. And then there's, there's a sense of this love that's, you know, this heart that's pumping and this love that's there and feeling quite okay with it like feeling like it's cool it's all good like everything's going well in your life and that's the immediate um kind of uh situation there there's just a feeling of surprise of being taken aback by something or wondering like what's actually going on as well and i want to ask what is the outcome the final outcome here or what is the not the final outcome but what is the what's going to happen in the future but a little bit later it's going to happen in the future but a little bit later um, all right. I'm just kind of putting this. I'm going to try to keep this pencil case here in this, um, in your, in your view. Okay. But sometimes I might pull it to the side because it's easier for me because I'm sitting to the side of the camera. Okay. There's this. So this is, these are the, this is your outcome. Okay. You might be wondering at the end of this, like, what was this whole thing about? Okay, um, what was this whole thing about? What was this, um, you know, has this relationship or has this situation left you a bit gobsmacked? And what is it that you can take out of it? I feel that either way, even if things like even if you decide that you don't want to be with this person or this person decides that they don't want to be with you, that you're going to be fine with it. Like you might just think that. Yeah, it might be a bit confusing at first. Or you might be wondering what's going on or 
what did you do you know like what what actually happened but i feel that you'll be fine with it and you'll just kind of move on from it or um you'll just kind of live with it it's something that you'll live with or you'll you'll learn to to deal with it it's not going to be something that you're going to let um destroy your life it's not going to like yeah it's definitely not going to destroy your life but it's it doesn't it might get you down a bit but it might but it won't last for long okay so that is the the first option the, those of you who, who chose the first option um i hope you've enjoyed that okay and i hope it's been good for you i'm going to move on now to the second option here uh so the, for those of you who've chosen this option right here the second um, we're going to go in right here and choose a few of these emojis to ask a few questions. And the first question we're asking is, what is the status of this relationship? What is the status of this relationship? All right, there's a few that want to come out already. And this is the first one. And all right, so this one's giving me like, like spiritual vibes i'm not sure why just hold them in my hand uh, so that you can see them better i hope um so i feel that here there's this love that you've stumbled upon which is really great and that it's something that's making you feel like whole in this world and making you feel like it's you know like your life has a, a new degree of relevance or significance or and um but i feel here that this llama is giving me spiritual vibes so i think that i feel like here this person has um it's almost like a soulmate to the type of relationship or it's something like a soul level of relationship and this person's brought you a lot of a lot of um great feelings of love but there's also been a great deal of stubbornness here that's going on and i feel here that there's a stubbornness and this is sense of somebody being mute like they've just been quiet mute there's nothing much going on and there's like you don't really know what's going on and you are the one who's kind of driving this with your own emotions or your own feelings and like you think it's great like uh you think it's great because it's like this very significant connection and it's amazing and it's wonderful but this the party the other party has been mute and so they're not really engaging as as they should be or as as you would like them to um nevertheless it seems like you're okay with that for the moment or you are okay with it enough to let it continue for a while okay so we're going to ask you how is it that this person feels about you what is it that this person actually feels about you what is it that this person feels about you Option number two. Okay, it went through my fingers. Is it that this person feels for option number two? What is this here? Ah, okay. And let's see what else we can find. All right. Okay, so this is what this person feels about you. So there's a sense of being bewildered and not being sure and not being, or kind of being a bit uh, challenged, in, in fact, by, or a bit, um, almost like in a level of discomfort uh, about about you. They feel like almost uncomfortable with this, uh, with the feelings that they have for you. Or the feeling that they have for you is an uncomfortable feeling, all right? But here they are throwing a kiss and it's one of love and they're winking while they do it so it's like they want to give you this love and they're sending you this love they might not be acting this love out immediately but they're definitely sending this love to you in some way and they want to send you this message um offering their love whether they do so uh or not i'm not sure i'm not sure that this person will send you this message to be honest i feel like they want to they may they may actually let me put it like that like i think for some of you they will but for others they are not going to they're gonna like they're gonna they're not gonna be in this state for long but it's like they're not going to be for, in this state for long either so it, it's more like they they they're amused by the situation they seem to be amused by the situation like this is a situation where you could be having a crush on an older person or um 
yeah, I don't know, like a teacher or someone, or I, I don't know, like you have a crush on like your boss or something, and um, or somebody who's more sophisticated, or somebody who's who you deem to be more sophisticated. Not not necessarily. It's not necessarily that this person is more sophisticated than you are, but uh, but this person's aware of your feelings and they're thinking like, oh my goodness, you know, like <laughs> what is this? And they're almost taken aback by it. But at the same time, they're not really taken aback. Yeah, I know this emoji. Like, I feel like they're taken aback, okay? So, and then there's this feeling here that um, they want to share your, they don't want to share your love, but they're fond of you. I want to say, yeah, they're definitely fond of you. And they kind of enjoy this. They really relish and enjoy this this thing that's going on. They're kind of really milking it. You know, they, I think they really enjoy enjoy it very much. So they enjoy that you like them, okay? And they they have pleasure. How do they feel where well, they like that you like them? They feel happy that you like them. They feel quite fond of you. And they're a bit in, in, they're in a bit of discomfort about their feelings and what's actually going on between you two, all right? So I'm going to ask, uh, firstly, what is the... Um, immediate future and then what's the future and the long term or the final outcome so we're asking here what is the immediate future for the option number two what is the immediate future for the option number two all right so my hand pulled out these here I have no I really didn't feel it or um, ask for it I was quite unaware actually it just kind of happened um, so I feel that uh, okay so here's the immediate outcome I the or the immediate future let's put it that way like what's going to happen next well I think that this person is actually going to share a message or actually going to give you a message or they're going to share uh, like express their fondness for you or you might actually be expressing your um love for, for them or something like this but I feel like you like you actually um like this is not coming from you it feels like it's coming from them okay I get this really strong sense that it's coming from them so th this it might be that they um they send you some something that makes you feel like oh yeah they love me or they care about me a lot and I'm feeling really great about it and uh it might be that like there's a if you're in a relationship already for a long time um you might feel like something that reminds you of a, like a, pa a past moment like something that's like a nostalgic kind of moment that you have with each other and you kind of remember the past and how it was and yeah so I'm just feeling that there I feel that for those of you who are in this kind of crash situation where you're not with this person you're just asking what they might think of you well for those of you uh, I feel that that you you will hear from this person whether it's just an email or a message or they'll call you or something like this and I feel that they will say something that's warm and friendly to you okay that's one thing they they may express their fondness for you in some way all right it might be a restrained manner in which they express their fondness for you but they will express it and then um the the things will be great between you guys like it will be really great it'll feel well and will be all good and then i feel like you'll be like blown away by the fact that this is happening it's, it'll be like oh my god i can't believe this is happening and you might think that it's like it's gonna lead to something bigger like let's see if it's gonna lead to something bigger so what will be the final outcome or what will be the outcome in the future which for this option number two okay we have oh we have three all right, this is interesting. So here, there's like this kind of, I feel like this is a crush. I just get this, such a strong feeling that this is a crush. It almost feels like a teenage crush. Um, but yeah, this person, like you, in the future, there'll be this kind of, like you feel like you're like a bit crazy or you're losing your mind. You're not really yourself. You are not really behaving like you normally would. And then there's this thing like, oh my God, have I gone too far? Have I gone too far? What have I done? Or what's going on? Is he retreating or is she retreating? What's actually happening here? And then it's like, no, it's all cool. It's all well. It's all going okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, for those of you who've come by, it's just a playful reading. Yeah, don't uh, give me a thumbs down because you think I'm so 
unserious or not taking your love matters seriously enough. All right. It's just a, a fun um Halloween special. All right. So for those of you who have chosen the option number three, we're asking four questions today with regard to love. And the first question we're asking is, what is the status of this relationship? So what's the status of this relationship? So just by the way, I'm just, my eyes are closed. I'm just kind of feeling uh, the rubber <laughs> here. That's not particularly pleasant, I have to say. Uh, I'm just feeling what needs to come out and uh, what what I trust has the, the right message for you. There we are. Oh, I'm getting quite a few here. This is interesting. So I've actually gotten, uh, I've been taking like just three for you, uh, but for each of the, uh, the options. But here I just feel like a bunch of them came out, so I went with it. Okay, so this is quite a complicated affair. We have the poop emoji here, and there's this here, that there, and the kiss. So I feel in this situation, like, there are things that can be really bad, and sometimes it can be really good. and But the bad is not, like, so bad, because you actually care about this person a lot. Like, the relationship's actually fine, or the situation is actually okay, and that, you know, it's, it's okay, like, it's great, and you think this... Well, I don't think you think this person because I'm not asking that question, but there's this feeling like it's all good and that it's spot on and that it brings you like it gives you like like huge waves of excitement and that there's also love here. There's also like this feeling of love and or well, this love that's developing, but things are not as smoothly uh, as go going as long as smoothly as you would like it to. So there are some things which you think are pretty shit <laughs> or shite. Let's say that rather. And um, yes, and and they could go better. And sometimes you wonder, like, why is this person doing that? Like, what is the point of this? You know, why do they have to go and do that now? And so I think that sometimes those are the quest uh, questions. But then there's also like you, you know, you also for this person and there's these good feelings here. So I think um, the relationship status is more like, you know, like it's OK the way it is. And there's some good parts and there's some not so good parts. All right, so let's ask, how does that person feel about you? How does this person actually feel about you? How does this person feel about you? Option number three, how does this person feel about you? Okay, let's see. Okay, we also have a few, um, a few uh, emojis here. You've gotten the most of them. All right, so I think two of these. Okay, this person thinks you're the bomb. Okay, this person thinks you're amazing. This person's also kind of um, fond of you, but also liking you, also forming like a love for you, if not already. This person thinks you're really great. Okay, and they think that they, they actually like feel a bit crazy also when they're with you or when they think of you. They feel like they're out of control when they're with you. And I feel also that they are... Um, yeah, they, they is like, it kind of unleashes their eccentric side or they're a part of themselves that they keep locked away usually. They think that you're fantastic though. Okay, and they think, I, w I don't want to say that they think you are fantastic. I think that this makes them feel that way. But um, they think that you're fantastic and they think that you're lovely, that, like you're a lovely creature. I want to say creature, I don't know why. They One of them probably think that you're a creature. <laughs> and so um, they are actually, yeah. They think that you're wonderful, that you're absolutely amazing, and that they find you quite lovely, all right? And it brings out the eccentric side in them. All right, so that's that. So the next question we're asking is, what is the immediate future? What is the immediate future of you? What is the immediate future for you and your person? Okay, this is it. All right, so things are going well. Okay, there's more fondness and love growing and things are seem to be going well. Yeah, great. So um, we ask you, what is the final outcome or the long-term potential for this? Or what is the, the yeah, well, what is the future, the long-term future here? Okay, what is this? Yeah, okay, there's this card seems to come out of all the, the future. 
I think it's come out for almost every reading, I'm not sure. Well, there's only been three, but yeah, let's see if we can find something else. What else can you tell us about the future? What else can you tell us about the future? Okay, these two. This is so weird. I'm sure that I've seen this these three together. So here, um, this is not very conclusive, actually. I'm going to ask if there's anything else there. Here. Is there anything else that we need to know about the outcome, the future, the long-term future of this relationship? Or should we, do we ask? All right. So actually there was, I'm going to start again because it was something that wanted to come out and I kind of pushed it back in by mistake. Ah, yes. Okay. So there's, okay, I've gotten that. And actually, right, fine. So there's this. It's all going to be fine. All right. It's all great. There are parts where, of there are times when you're going to feel like what's actually happening here. Like you're not really sure. You're not going to be 100% comfortable with this person. You're going to learn some things about this person that you don't really know. And it's going to make you raise your eyebrows and wonder just why. I think you're going to go with the flow. You're going to ride this wave and you're going to have fun with it. And I think it's going to bring out your eccentric side as well. I think it's going to actually be like a fun, easy relationship but there are going there are going to be moments where you might be a bit surprised by this person or, or wonder why it is that they do certain things but I feel like these are more like domestic things like maybe like how they do their laundry might surprise you or something something like to that effect you know like just simple basic stuff I don't think it's big stuff this relationship might go well and I think it's going to go well for a long time and it sounds like a really nice love that's budding so I don't know whether these um, readings have just been uh, influenced by the emojis, since they all seem to be happy ones, most of them anyway. There are other emojis here, I just want to show it to you, uh, because they, they seem to pull out the same ones. So they are actually, like there's that, and then there's, um, I don't know if you can see that here, but here there's like this heart, and then there's, there's a couple of those for sure. But um, yeah, there are there are other expressions here. I just don't seem to find them right now. Um, yeah, but they they're not all the same. It feels like the same car, the same ones came out for almost all of them. But anyway, I just wanted you to see. Oh, there's even a devil. It didn't come out for any of you. All right. So yes. Well, I hope that's been fun, and I hope you enjoy that. And wishing you all super well and hope you're having a nice Halloween and for those of you who've celebrated Diwali in the last week I hope you've also had a lovely Diwali and as we go into November may it be a fabulous month for you all lots of love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising and thank you all so much for your lovely messages and your support blessings abound